Number nine, compare the kinetic energy of a 20,000 kilogram truck moving at 110 kilometers per hour with that of an 80 kilogram astronaut in orbit moving at 27,500 kilometers per hour. All right, so basically we just gotta calculate the kinetic energies. All right, so here's the kinetic energy formula. And this says that the kinetic energy of an object is equal to one half multiplied by the mass of that object that's moving multiplied by its velocity squared. Now remember, mass is in kilograms, velocity is in meters per second. So let's first take a look at the truck. All right, the truck has this mass, 20,000 uh, kilograms, so that's fine. But notice its speed is in kilometers per hour, so we just gotta do a little conversion. All right, so let's just get that out of the way. So 110 kilometers per hour, kilometers go on the bottom, meters on the top. I know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer, so that's done. Then I wanna to go to seconds. So hours on the top, um, seconds on the bottom. Remember that there are 3,600 seconds in an hour. That's a little shortcut. Okay. If you didn't know that, not a big deal. Go to minutes here first. There are 60 minutes in an hour. And then you would have went, um, then you would have went in one minute, there are 60 seconds. But then the 60 times the 60 would have been 360. See? So you can just kind of skip that last little step. All right. And we just simply do our conversion now. So 110 times 1000 divided by 3600. It works out to about 30.6. So this is about 30. 30.6 meters per second. Okay, great, so that's the velocity. So, all we gotta do now, so the kinetic energy, I'll call it of the truck, so the kinetic um, energy of the truck should be equal to one half multiplied by the mass of that truck, 20,000 kilograms, multiplied by then its velocity in meters per second squared. So this is easy, so the kinetic energy of the truck should be equal to so we get 0.5 times 20,000 times 30.6 squared. So we get 9.63, uh, uh, excuse me, 9.36. 9.36 times 10 raised to the, what do we got, three, six, six. And that is in joules, okay? Kinetic energy is in joules. So that takes care of that. Okay, now let's move on to the next. So the astronaut. Okay, again, so the kinetic energy then of the astronaut um, will be equal to, um, what do we got? One half multiplied by the mass of the object multiplied by uh, the velocity of that object squared. Okay, so they told us the mass and they gave us the uh, vo uh, velocity, but they just didn't give it to us in meters per second. All right, so I just got to do that conversion again. So just realize that basically I'm taking this number, okay, and I'm going to be multiplying it then by 1,000 over 3,600, right? It's the same thing, okay, as, I did, as we did before. So 27,500 multiplied by 1,000 and then divided by 3,600, and that will get us to meters per second, all right? So 27,500 times 1,000 divided by 3,600. So this works out to be 7.64 times 10 to the third, and that's meters per second. All right, now that's the value we're going to look to plug in. Oops, sorry. That's the value we're gonna plug in. So let's plug that in now for the velocity. So we have the kinetic energy, therefore, of the astronaut is equal to one half times the mass, which was 80, okay? times then the velocity, 7.64 times 10 to the third. So the kinetic energy now of the astronaut will be, so 0.5 times 80 times 7.64 times 10 to the third, and that's squared. Big number, right? So 2.33 times 10 raised to the, I've got to count this one out. I don't know why it didn't put it into scientific for me. So we got, Six, looks like nine, right? Times 10 to the nine, and that's in joules. All right, very good. Now, I mean, those are the answers, but it then says, I guess, to compare them. So notice, though, it almost seems like they kind of should work out evenly, right? I mean, right, this, um, I mean, assuming that you didn't take into account the square, right? 
but if it was just a straight multiplication between the items, it should have actually worked out evenly, but kinetic energy is a function of the square of the velocity. So therefore, uh, the velocity disproportionately, when compared to the mass, impacts the kinetic energy. All right, so we can see that you know, a, a very large velocity here uh, definitely makes a tremendously large difference right in the final answer when I compare the astronaut to the uh, truck with the astronaut being larger, all right, by three magnitudes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.